Hi everyone and thank you for joining me at Kay Warner Studio. It's so nice of you to drop by. I know there's a lot of YouTube channels you can watch so I really appreciate you tuning into this one. I have another haul and it's from scrapbook.com so we're going to have a look at that. I know what's in here but I want you to see what's in here. And by the way I've never seen these before in uh, you know in real life just on the internet and on other videos which are of course on the internet. So. so here's a coupon code seven dollars off seventy dollars summer seven at scrapbook.com. Wrap it nicely. This comes airmail so really big box for what's in here. Take this out. If you watch my review on my Misty Mini, I had um, stated that I found it a little small. I mean, it's great because you're a card maker, but if you want to do some of those background stamps, it is difficult because a lot of the background stamps um, are a little bit more than what the base of that Mini Misty is, at least the ones that I own. So I have been researching and I saw a few videos and they had recommended a letterpress. So this is the We Are Memory Keepers letterpress. It's, uh, they say to use it in their evolution, but it's meant actually meant for any um, machine where it applies pressure. I'm not going to use it for that, I don't think, unless all of a sudden I uh, want to do some uh, quasi letter pressing. But what I bought it for was really to use it as a misty, but with a bigger case, a bigger surface. And um, it has this thing here that I think you could probably put a magnetic pad in because memory, We Are Memory Keepers has a magnetic pad uh, to use a. Uh, a magnetic thing like the mini mist does but isn't this cool it has nice strong hinges I haven't used it at all as you see I just opened it up but I will um, use it and let you know what I think this was uh, 4269 which is uh, pretty economical when you compare the price of a misty and let me just tell you how big this base is the base is 12 inches 12 by 5 and 3 quarters. So quite a large base. Centimeters, 15, a little more than 15 centimeters and 32 centimeters in length. So yeah, it's quite, quite a big space to deal with. Now in this little kit for the $42, you receive some plates, letter printing plates, um, instruction manual in English, well, that's good because that's the only language I know, and French. So there you go, got it all covered. They probably must have Spanish in here somewhere. Yeah, Dutch, Spanish, they got it all covered. Very good. Uh, so yeah, and there's pictures on how to do it too if you're a visual learner. Um, wonderful. Hello, smile, oh, quite a few different words in there along with the plates. This here is the acrylic uh, that you're supposed to put your ink on and roll it out and then roll it onto here, the base from what I saw with the videos, but you could use this for, you don't have to use it for that purpose. Um, you get a little, a little brayer which has a stand built right in so that the roller doesn't sit flat. So that's cool. And you get uh, five inks. I think they're probably sample size inks, but it's enough to let you know if you like it or not. And the colors are teal blue, hot pink, navy, orange, and silver. So that'll be great. And these are letterpress cleaning cloths to probably clean the surface here and probably clean the surface of this acrylic nice big acrylic block and then you have some letterpress paper 
and from what I read, it's a, it's a cotton paper. So let me just get a feel for it. Like I say, it's not my intention to use it as a letterpress. Yes, it is. It's a, it's not like watercolor paper. Um, it kind of feels like a corrugated material. You know, like the, the top of a cor corrugated, the part that's not corrugated. That's what it feels like. And there's um, two, four, six sheets of that size six sheets of the bigger size and these little uh, there's adhesive on one side and on the other to hold the plates and like here on these sections that are marked you're supposed to line those up and then there are um, these long plastic plates that are inside of here that you must line this these plates up with but like I say, not my intention to letterpress. God knows I've changed my mind before, so I'll probably um, venture into that a little bit. But I just really bought it to be a stamp positioning tool to see how I like that. It was uh, more economical and it doesn't hurt to have other things other than just one of something. So thank you very much for spending your time with me. And I hope to have another video up relatively soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.